Hey yo, tourist here. I know um, this video is about exporting decals the right way. I should have done that like months, years, I don't know, long time ago. But here it is. Have fun. The first method I'm going to show you, it's called the save as method. It's like the most common function if you would like to uh, create uh, PDFs, EPSs, etc. But also lets you save artboards and stuff like SVGs. This is the decal we are going to work with today. It's like a little couple of dewdrops. Every single shape you see in here is created with a gradient as a filling method. So if this is not going to work properly, with the transparencies and everything you will see it immediately so this makes it a good example um, to work with I guess mm, let's check the first step we need to do and this is step zero prepare your artboard everything you don't want to have in here remove it or make it invisible it's a background right here which I use to work with uh, I like to have a neutral gray background it's much more comfortable instead of looking at like this bright white all day so this is invisible now everything I got in here is the dew drops right so we are ready for step number one the actual first step in the yeah, saving process uh, let me move that down. So, well, first select save as, as your method is called, and select the save as type as SVG. Um, also, you need to check use artboards and define the range of artboards. So, if, if you really want to do it, you could check the range from 1 to 64 and save them all in one go as separate uh, SVGs. But for now, it's just artboard number two right here. All right. Save as SVG type. Use artboards. Here you can select the range and what we want is only artboard number two. So we got that dialog here. Select the SVG options. I will guide you through that as we adjust it, right? SVG profiles as SVG 1.1, which is absolutely okay and enough for what we need to do and I found it working perfectly with transparencies i would say at least for a year or so um, there was an update which fixed a lot of problems with the rp and uh, svg 1.1 yeah it's absolutely sufficient uh, font type svg sub settings use system fonts that means no font will be included inside the svg uh, gran turismo can't display them anyhow and we don't want no fonts since they are only paths uh, image options, location embedded, as we don't use any of the images, we maybe traced before or something, we don't want them in there anyhow, and so it's the, the link, if there was one, will stay empty. CSS properties, uh, presentation attributes, as many other decal creators uh, pointed out before uh, it causes uh, well minimum trouble and uh, the Gran Turismo RP can work perfectly with that. Decimal places just one 
uh, Unicode uh, UTF-8, so it stays uh, small and uh, tidy. Output fewer T-span elements. Yeah, fewer is always good. It reduces the um, size of yeah size in kilobytes. Text path elements. We don't have any text paths, so yeah, uh, and make it responsive. I think the responsiveness is um, just a tag in the uh, source code less, which gives the image a certain size. So if we check it responsive, it will always adjust to the uh, biggest size, uh, no matter if it's a browser screen or if it's um, the, the size the RP allows to upload stuff. And this leaves us with one last thing to do now, and that's hit OK and take a look at our new decal. All right, let's do it. Let's take a look. Is it saved? There we have it. Let's upload that. Transparencies work perfectly, and I would say let's jump to method number two, shall we? So, method number two is a bit more different. As the name says, it's uh, called export selection, which means uh, we are not saving uh, the content of an of an artboard but uh, the actual decal we selected before. Let's see what we got to do. So step zero is prepare your objects, like the actual decal. Um, in the brackets, it's a bit tricky and I'll show you why. Let's take that exact same decal and I'm going to show you how I prepare it to be exported. So the trickiness I mentioned uh, is all about the transparencies and gradients. Um, let me expand those layers here so you can see what I mean. For one reason, I could try to explain that for I would say at least 15 to 20 minutes why the Gran Turismo RP is not happy with uploading two different objects which have the same uh, gradient uh, inside but the end result will be that only one of those objects will be displayed um, with the right gradient and all the uh, duplicates of that object even if they have different shapes as long as they have the same filling will be displayed just black. Let me just prepare a little test which we are going to export with the uh, same decal so that, that that will kind of prove my theory that you, you see that I'm not making this up so I'm making some uh, simple rectangle in here let me bring the gradient dialog to front and I don't know just make a gradient from red to yellow right so I'm going to duplicate this let's say three times so these three shapes have the absolute identical filling right so following my theory is 
that one object is going to be displayed uh, with the uh, right gradient and I guess it's the first one it will be that here and those two will be black later because they are featuring the same fill-in, right? And to avoid that uh, with the decal we want to export is that all the same gradients which would be in our case these here you, you can you can see them over here each uh, of those drops has one layer which features the exact same gradient these this one and the shadow gradient. So what we need to do is that of those groups of five exact same gradients we have to alter this one that they are not the same and uh, this can be done by changing the color but why we want that because it's always the same reflection by the same light so the color needs uh, actually to stay the same um, one trick uh, I do is um, when you take a look at the location of the nodes uh, of the gradient um, I give each node uh, a different uh, or, or like one node in every gradient I give them a different position so starting with the first one we don't have to change anything but if we move on to the second I move the location 1% to the left with this here I'm moving it 2% to the left with this here 3% this right here four percent so I'm not showing that in all the detail but uh, I yeah, I'm going to repeat that process with all the layers in here which feature the same gradient Okay, with that done, we are ready for the next step, and this will be select all objects you want to include in one SVG. So that does mean uh, it doesn't have to be a group, right? You you can loosely fit all objects you have there in one selection, and after that, hit right click on selected object and export selection. I will show you what happens next so we are not going through that step by step as I wrote it down here but I will show you or guide you through in the actual dialogue so don't worry about that. But first is select format SVG, go to advanced setting, it's that little uh, cogwheel on the upper right side and save your settings so um, I guess you will repeat that over and over again so it's better to have them saved and then hit export for asset okay here we go selecting all the objects including our little test triangles export selection going to advanced settings clicking on SVG we keep the presentation attributes we had before you remember that from the other um, exporting method uh, font is SVG images preserve so as we don't have any images no image will be included uh, no link no nothing less kilobytes object ID minimal which means like whatever you named your layers uh, illustrator will rename them and give them short precise names so you don't have to worry about that anymore and it's less kilobytes uh, also decimal is just one and this time we are selecting minify uh, which will uh, yeah, to put it simply compress the source code uh, in an endless row of uh, 
cryptic numbers and letters and whatnot and yeah which saves kilobytes also so save settings and we are done here by hitting export asset and let's see how that will look in Gran Turismo after we upload it here we have the asset 12 kilobytes let's open that RP and drag it in here There's the decal, and exactly as I predicted, um, the other two triangles are black. And as you can see immediately, the opacity of the newer decal is much more light than uh, the decal we uploaded before you see here this is the one we uploaded before and on the left side you see the one which was exported with the export selection method so well it's hard to tell which end result you like best for this kind of decal, I would suggest to use the uh, export selection method. But yeah, it's up to you which kind of opacity uh, you prefer. But yeah, so export method one is cool for decals with uh, complete uh, opacity or decal sets. So it lets you export a bunch of decals in a minimum time. As you can select many artboards. Um, yeah, method B is personally my my favorite method. I use it all of the time to uh, export decals. I need to check on if they work all right, if they uh, look okay, if something needs to be changed until you reach the perfect end result. All right, I hope. Uh, you didn't get bored completely leave me a like maybe follow me for more videos and uh, check out my twitter or something anyhow that's the end and uh, yeah take care and see you soon bye bye Thank you.